video. Now today I'm going to give you our two for one special. I'm going to show you how to get a relentless finisher on Hall of Fame and posterizer on Hall of Fame. Now I made a method already on like the easiest way to get posterizers on my channel already. I can go check that out. But all you need is like 15 more contact dunks or attempt and then you'll get it on Hall of Fame. As you can see, since I have the badge, I'm pretty much dunking every single time. It makes it a lot easier once you have it. It's probably the easiest badge to get on Hall of Fame in my opinion. And it also helps for relentless finishing. Now, in order to unlock Willis Finisher, you need 50 to 75 contact layups or attempts. You don't have to make them, but it'll count either way. And to get it on Hall of Fame, you need like 125 to 150 attempts once again. As you guys can see, once I unlocked the badge, I actually didn't make the layups. So that's how I figured out how attempts matter. That that's gonna be it for the video. I'm pretty much done dropping slasher archetypes. I'm working on my stretch big right now, so I'm gonna be releasing tutorials on how to get all those stretch big badges. So be on the lookout for that. Drop a like if you enjoy. Sub if you haven't already. It's crazy. We just hit over 100, man. It hasn't even been two weeks yet. I can't thank y'all enough. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.